Oh my knee, it shattered. Oh, oh my god. Oh my fucking shattered knee. Good thing I don't need to stand to play video games. Welcome back to... <laughs> Welcome back to It's Cold as Hell, Chaps. It will be pretty soon. It already kind of is. My, uh, I was up up in my room, and I'm like, oh, it's so nice. It's nice and cool, and it's not so bad. And then, like, I start stepping downstairs, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Holy shit, it's so cold. <laughs> yeah. You gotta bundle up in your own house. Fucking... The house has nothing, no carpet anywhere, so it's only wood and stone. Ooh. So uh, the whole house stays very cold, which personally I prefer. Red eye, like the the thing from Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, the infamous first episode. Yeah, you know it's when you know you crush a vial of red stuff into your eye and then you like go and fight things and you know it's like in Cowboy Bebop. I think I think Jake Ruff just watched Cowboy Bebop. I don't know if it was his first time ever watching it but I, I just saw him post about it on Facebook. Yeah I saw that too. And then you fucking nerd. You <laughs> fucking cretin. He likes he likes some animus. I, I haven't you, watched an anime in a long time. You bald ass bitch. You know what I started playing recently, Billy? Like <laughs> after I bought it like a year ago and never played it until just recently is a uh, Persona Five, and I'm already kind of like, yep. Yeah. People said yeah. that that's like the best Persona. I don't really like it as much as the other ones. If I'm being honest, yeah, because they they railroad it too much. Yeah. Like, that's what I don't like about it. Because, like, the whole game so far... I've, been, I've played it for, like, 20 hours. And, like... And the other ones, like, pretty early on, they kind of, like... You know, they get through the tutorial stuff, you know? And then they kind of let you kind of do what you want. Like, you can... You have to, like, plan out your time and what you're going to do and stuff. And in Persona 5, it feels like they railroad you so much more. Like, there's so much more story. And... It feels like the whole first dungeon of the game, they, like, hold your hand through the whole thing, you know? And they tell you, like, you know, oh, we, we have this thing tomorrow, you can't do anything at night, you have to go to bed now. And it's like, ugh. <laughs> so, yeah, I've, I played it for a bit, and I've, well, I'm, like, to the boss of, like, the second dungeon, and I'm already kind of like, all right, I'm going to take a break. I don't really want to keep playing it right now. <laughs> It's not a bad game, it's just more of the same fucking shit. Like, it's really not that much different. Yeah, I'm not really into wanting to play it. You're really not missing out on much, I would say. Nah, I'm I'm growing away from classic RPGs, like JRPGs. Yeah, I... I don't know, I... We gotta break through the lines quickly, Taylor. I don't think I have the patience for that shit anymore either, because they take so fucking long. Yeah. It's like, good lord. Like I, I don't mind a game when it has, you know, when it's long, but like. But I don't like it when it's long. I don't like it when it's like overly long. Yeah. Like. Like those JRPGs take like a real long fucking time to beat, you know. And and there's so much huff and puff and fluff, and it's like, fuck. I remember when I got to like the second boss guy. Like I wasn't I don't think I was prepared for it because I was like I was just getting kinda of tired of fighting him. <laughs> but like when I got to the second boss I just skipped all the dialogue. I'm like, I don't care <laughs> about your backstory. Do you want I'm to so, see my penis? I don't give a shit. No, his whole thing is that he's like a like a famous artist, but he just steals all of the his all students' his work. work. Yeah. Huh. So, then, so then he's like I, I would bring them in and, and teach them the way, and then I would steal their because <laughs> I've, their anuses. I've had writer's block for 50 years. And then it's like, I don't care, dude. Like, let me kill you. Yeah, I'm so just I here to murder, to, okay, so dude? So I can get to the next part of the game, so I can go hang out at the arcade or whatever. Like, that's what so I want to do. So I can talk do. to my chicks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've yeah. Only, I only have the one chick so far, and I'm like... Mm. I hear if you try to romance all of them, they'll all come to the bar... And they'll be like disappointed in you, oh. because you romanced all of them. Well, that's fair because then, like the other ones, you could ra romance all of them, and nobody gave a shit. That's the only way to do it, Taylor. If you can't romance them all, how am I going to collect all the women? Yeah, because I don't want to play it again. <laughs> like that's the last thing I want to do is play the fucking game again to do all that. 
The only thing I like to do is fuck pussy and eat anime girl's titties. So what, are you one of the enemies in the game? <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they fuck pussies? Oh no, because you're, you're eating them. Oh. Uh, you're like a monster in the game or something. Well, I am a monster in real life. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. <laughs> okay. That's that's a midnight song. They do that that effect on the, like that Billie Eilish song, and then it goes into the drop or whatever. I'm a black guy. <laughs> Duh. Boner. Boner. Na, 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 boner. If I have, have a we... song, you the version that I made up. No. It's a, I'm a oh, cut guy. Here. I'm a cut guy. <laughs> <laughs> is that what she says? She says duh before the drop. Yeah. Is that it? I never. I, I don't know if we've if we've discussed I don't that. How to fucking get down? <laughs> there's there's get that little door by the data post. Oh, okay. Then we open the door. I think. Um, have we ever discussed like how underwhelming I find a lot of that stuff to be, like that music? Like, I feel like we might have, like, like I'm not, touched on the I'm, topic. I'm not, like, you know, I'm not saying that Billie Eilish is bad, you I know? Don't. Like, I, I, I'm not a fan of her music, but at least she is kind of doing something new in the pop realm, I guess, you yeah. know? She reminds me of uh, when Franz Ferdinand's song came out, where I heard too much of it, and I really don't want to hear it Which anymore. Which one? Take Me Out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. good song though. I like yeah, that song. I don't, I don't hear like, it that often. The, so. the music's good. It's just I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> Fuck me in the bar. I say. Oh, 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 Billy Eilish and her brother Phineas. Phineas and Ferb. Phineas is her brother, and, and he's like the like the producer. Like he helps like mix and like produce yeah, the music. He has whatever. like a weird obsession with his sister. Yes, kind of. Yeah, I, he doesn't go like I don't. I th is Billy Eilish a is that a stage name? That's not a real name, is it? I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, like because I remember I brought that up to Melissa, and she didn't even know that they were related. And I'm like, yeah, because he he doesn't go by Phineas Eilish or something. He I think it's I don't know what he goes by, but Phineas is what everybody knows him by. And like I remember seeing them perform that song live, and like you know the to me in my opinion like when the quote unquote drop comes in, it's really underwhelming and it doesn't carry a lot of energy for me at all. You know, I'm it's all very guy. yeah. You know, it does that whole thing? Yeah. And I'm like, like I remember watching live footage of her playing at like a festival, and like people are going nuts when that when that drop happens. And I'm just like, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. You know, like if you're doing like a like a like a heavy metal tune, and then like the final breakdown comes in, like fine, like that makes more sense. Because yeah. like this build this build up and release of energy, right? But, but there like, ain't no release. But there's no like there's barely any build up in the Billie Eilish shit, and there sure ain't no fucking release. It's just like the same like kind of minimalist beat with this stupid like little cheesy like synth lead over it. And, like, I don't know. It doesn't really do much for me. I don't really get the appeal. But maybe I'm a music snob. Could be. Maybe I'm just a snobby boy. So, yeah, I made a... I made a... Because I always heard it when I was working out. Uh-huh. So I made my own version you for Mitch. You don't listen to your own music when you work out? I do. But, like, it's over the thing, over the speaker, so... Uh -oh. You kind of have to hear it. At least in, in part. But, uh... You know uh -oh. how the song goes. Do I? Do you? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Like, so you're a tough guy. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, I put it, uh, so you're a cuck guy. Watch your wife get fucked by every other black guy. That's make your... Good. Make your... Your father, dad, cry makes your wife. <laughs> your father, yeah, dad yeah. <laughs> makes your father, dad, cry. Makes your wife go moan. I, I. <laughs> I'm a black guy. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> and that's what 
I do to Mitch every That's time. Good. <laughs> you know, come out to him and you're like, can you feel the sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> no, every once in a while. I mean, like, I'll, I'll say it in the middle of the, a sentence or something. It's like, man, Mitch. You know, you know what I like about being on second shift? What's that? When I come into work, I can feel the sunshine <laughs> and it brightens up my day. <laughs> and then he just smiles, shakes his head, and starts walking away. I'm like, wait, Mitch, wait, Mitch. Uh, Don't you feel that sometimes you just need to walk away? That's what and he was he doing. Does. That's what he was doing. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> Uh, Mitch, I miss you, buddy. Rest in peace. <laughs> he's, no, he's still alive. You just fucking fuck we're talking about. <laughs> Rest in peace, Mitch. He's not fucking dead. Shut up. <laughs> now, Tobin, now, Tobin's a different story. Tobin, Tobin's dead to us. Actually, he's, uh, he's finally back off of, uh, his crazy shift. Oh, is he? Yeah, so he can, uh... That's not gonna change the fact that he's a dad. Yeah. It doesn't. A dad of, like, soon to be two. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Matthew McConaughey. <coughs> yeah. I delivered his mail yesterday. And he was like, fuck you, T. He ordered, you know, he ordered some package. I delivered it for him. I mean, I didn't see him. I, I, uh, it was small enough to fit in the mailbox. Oh, okay, so you... So I just put it in the mailbox. <laughs> but it was, dress, it was addressed to him. And I recognize it because it's Kia's address, so... Don't you feel that sometimes? He's, he's a father of two also, isn't he? Yeah, he's got two kids. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just over here like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of scrounge. Rolling around at the speed of condoms. Got places to go because I don't have any kids. <laughs> it, it does suck because like, he'll, he'll hang out with us and play... Some games every once in a while, but it's always, you know, uh, I gotta wait until Kia gets home or the babysitter's here. Oh. And it sucks, you know. Oh, yeah. But you know what? If that's the way he wants his life to go, then that's his decision. Oh, yeah! Oh, where's my fucking machine gun? You know, I don't want not a machine gun. You sure? Here's not one. having machine guns is pretty dope. No. Ah, it's like... tentacle monster! Oh, no. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's zap me. I'm gonna come. <laughs> oh, it zapped me. <laughs> How weird. Why does it zap? That's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I Melissa and I had talked about it, and I don't think we're we're gonna have any kids. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I pretty I, much the same thing here. I, with I wanna, you know, yeah, I wanna I, be able to do things. <laughs> I, and and I both understand. We are both very uh, self-centered people. That. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. We just, uh, we know that we wouldn't care about having a child very much because we want to do what we want to do. Yeah, of course. And once you have a child... It's over, man. It yeah. ain't about you anymore. That's what I'm saying. Well, Damn. Melissa and I are both the same way. <laughs> oh, no, not another one. Damn, no! Oh, God, yeah. it almost tentacled me. <laughs> it did tentacle me. It's gonna eat me. Oh, my God. Ew. There was this thing in, in Last of Us, huh? Yeah, I know. Remember like, Last of Us 2? Come on, Ellie. <laughs> Fight the thing. Remember Last of Us 2? Remember that game? No. I don't think I've ever played it. <laughs> we only spent like three months playing it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that game in a little bit. I remember the last thing that happened was uh, I shot an arrow. In a guy's face in slow mo, and it fucking froze the game. <laughs> Can't did do it? it. Did it? Yeah, remember? We were testing out the slow mo infinite. Oh, uh, yeah, arrows, yeah, yeah. That's and right. It yeah. fucking froze the game. Yeah, that was like the <laughs> last thing that we <laughs> he did. He was chasing me. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I did read about that. Two more of those fucking things spawned behind us. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's already out. Wow. That was two of them. Oh, yeah. Whoa, we did it! I <laughs> got one box! <laughs> nice! Uh, nice! On! Yeah, dude. 
I, I, you know, if I want to go get chicken tenders, I want it to be on my terms, not because my kids want them. Daddy. Father. <laughs> Father. Father, I wish for chicken tenders. <laughs> Would you bestow it upon me, chicken tenders? Okay, well, I'll get you. I need them now. <laughs> I require them now. I <laughs> require sustenance. I require sustenance. <laughs> Are you sure you're mine? <laughs> That's how I would teach my child <laughs> to talk. 100%. You'd <laughs> be like, where was Gondor? <laughs> Where was Gondor when we needed them? <laughs> Rohirrim! Uh, or I'll fucking make him talk like Denifor. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, Master Hobbit, sing me a song. I'm and gonna be honest. eats the tomatoes like this. <laughs> 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 fucking tomato seed. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember like most of the characters from Lord of the Rings at all. But like I like the movies, I thought they were fine. <laughs> Fucking Denifor is, you know, the uh <laughs> the the steward of Gondor. Is he the, He's the one, one with that looks Faramir like Faramir and Faramir's dad. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like a fucking uh reject from a Twilight movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know any other names. Yeah, yeah. there's Denifor. And uh yeah, he eats, he eats the yeah, fucking tomatoes. Yeah, I remember, I vaguely remember that. <laughs> Eating the it's chicken like, while yeah. fucking yeah, Pippin's like, just yeah. like, Oh, stop and sad songs. <laughs> sad songs, they say. Sad songs, they say. So much. <laughs> I sound like a Carry fucking, on. like, grunge singer. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Pippin sings the 90s. <laughs> and the whole time the song's going on, he's just cracking chicken bones. And... <laughs> I gotta show you this fucking video I found. Somebody fucking eating a tomato. <laughs> yeah. uh. I hate the way he eats that tomato. Yeah, because it's all juicy and gross. Yeah, it fucking pops like a zit in his yeah. mouth. Like, I, I think, I, they did that. I mean, obviously that was on purpose. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't think the first time was on purpose, and they're like, dude, we gotta keep doing that. <laughs> yeah, Peter Jackson's like, dude, <laughs> keep it. You just made my script better. <laughs> just fucking popped it. That's what was missing. Popped a fucking zit tomato <laughs> on your mouth. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, BS. I liked uh, the thing I liked about those movies is like they're long, but like they they moved at such a pace that like. It you know didn't feel like a three hour movie. Oh yeah, no, they're because, they're quite well paced actually. Yeah, because there's so much stuff that they have to get through that they just kind of they don't like overly linger on shit. But at the same time, it's not like they're rushing past it either. Yeah. And fucking Helm's Deep is oh yeah, I mean Helm's Deep is like a movie in itself. <laughs> you know, isn't that like half the movie literally? <laughs> um, I mean it's a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big. Big I don't remember the exact uh, number. It's it's pretty yeah. It's a pretty. It's long. a sizable chunk. Yeah. To say the least. <laughs> yeah, I had fun with them. I thought they were great. Yeah, I love those movies. Would watch again. Oh, I couldn't remember if I had watched them with you. Yeah, we watched them together because you had them. I think you had two of them on DVD or something. Yeah. And then we we. Rented Got the, Fellowship, I think. Yeah, because I think that's the only one that I didn't have was Fellowship at the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's good shit. I liked them. Me too. You know a movie we just watched recently, um, Billy, that I don't know if you've seen, just came out. Really good movie. is uh, It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Netflix. And it's uh, Trial of the Chicago 7. I don't know if you've seen it or heard anything about it. No idea what that is. Ironically enough, it's got Sasha Baron Cohen in it. And we oh, were just nice. discussing Borat 2 earlier, but Sasha Baron Cohen is in it, but it's like a serious role. It's not a comedic role. Mm. Um, he's not like the main character in it, but it's... Um, I'm pretty sure it's based on real life, and it's about uh, the trial of uh, seven people during like Vietnam era. Um, they were charged for inciting violence in Chicago. 
Okay. Um, and it's about their trial. Like it, the whole movie is basically like their trial, basically more or less. Really, really well done movie, which makes me believe it's not a Netflix film because there's no way Netflix could have produced such a high quality film. <laughs> um. <laughs> Shots <laughs> fucking fire. Really though, ne Netflix like their original films and original content kind of sucks. Yeah, they opinion. they got some all right ones, but that's you have it. to reach. You got to reach for them. They're not. There's not very many that stand out in my opinion. But that one. I think what it is, because I'm, I'm pretty sure Paramount Pictures produced it, um, so I, I think it's a studio film, but due to COVID, they couldn't release it theatrically, so they just released it on Netflix. Okay. That's what I think is the case. I have no idea, but if you and Anne are, are interested in something like that, I don't know if she likes that kind of movie or not, but mm. Melissa and I watched it. We both really liked it. For the most part, no. She's not super into those. Big boobies. Well, then you, <laughs> then you fucking watch it. I, I thought it was really good. Sab. Asp. Asb. Asb. Well, next time on Chinstrap Chaps on the Chinstrap Chap Review Hour, we'll review Wild Cherry Pepsi.